Glenn Lowry here. This is the Glenn Show. We're the black guys at Blogging Heads TV. Because one of the stupidest debates I've ever seen in my time watching these things is happening right now, where critical race theory refers to certain weird but interesting articles written you know 40 and 30 and 35 years ago that argue for a recasting of what we think of as justice on the basis of what it means to be non-white or non-various other things in this country all of it is you know it's kind of deconstruction meets legal theory and you know nothing wrong with it I'm fine it's critical yeah, race theory starts as the mm-hmm. writings of the Derek Bells of the world and the Kimberly Crenshaw yeah, of the world, you the know, Patricia all of Williams, and where it used to be that you had only heard of it if you were people like us. Yeah, and now critical race theory, and you know, it's an acronym to CRT. I never thought that would happen. Now it is something that is in the schools, and it has to do with you know putting the white kids on one side of the room, and the black kids on the other, and teaching certain lessons, and you know teaching that white is wrong, teaching that black is to not be precise, teaching that whites are the oppressors, teaching black kids to start being wary of their victimhood early on. This is happening across the country in many classrooms to varying extents, but it's there. That's referred to as critical race theory too, because the people who promulgate this educational philosophy call themselves inheriting basic principles of critical race theory, which says, among other things, that for, for example, Black people, our narrative as victims of white oppression is what defines us and is more important than the details of individual stories, such as success stories and the like. So all of this balkanization of white from Black in particular, it traces to those writings, even though Kimberly Crenshaw and Derek Bell were not thinking about what you do to six and seven year olds in the classroom. It was a different time. They were different people. They weren't, they weren't classroom pedagogues, but still critical race theory infected ideas are now being put into operation in whole schools. And I've been writing about this on Substack, turning upside down and being made these anti-racist academies where work by, for example, Robin D'Angelo and Ibram Kendi is put forth as basic texts and a great many people find something wrong with what's happening in the schools including some legislators who don't know a whole lot about legal theory big surprise don't know a whole lot about educational philosophy big surprise they're professional politicians that's what they know about and so there are these bills that are saying no teaching critical race theory in the schools and this is where the the dumb stuff comes in there's this whole strain of people who are saying you can't say that you don't want critical race theory in the schools because nobody's teaching Richard Delgado and Kimberly Crenshaw in fifth grade, which is just such a debate team nonsense tactic. Or more people are saying, because critical race theory is calling attention to the basic racist nature of our society, and you can say that that is there, the issue is its extent, but it's there, because critical race theory is teaching America to be honest about itself. If you don't want critical race theory to be taught in schools, what you're saying is you don't want anybody to be taught about racism. You don't want them to be taught about slavery. You don't want them to learn about Sojourner Truth. And no one has said that. Or if anything, from what I know, one of the state's bills clumsily written could be interpreted as saying that. But that's not what anybody means. It's clear. And yet, noble people are arguing all over the place that if you say you don't want these anti-racist academy philosophies in a classroom that your child is in, what you're saying is that you want American history to be taught the way it was in 1925, with a waving flag, slavery not mentioned, and everything is just fine and hunky-dory. That is utter smoking hot bullshit. And yet, there's this whole debate going on now where the left avoids acknowledging what's going on in these classrooms. They won't admit that all of these news reports spell something. Whereas, frankly, if there were two news reports of a black boy being shot by the cops, that would be considered an indictment of our whole national fabric and reflecting things going on in 50 states, 24 hours a day. It is the most frustrating dialogue because no one knows what they're talking about. Go ahead. No, I was going to say they're intellectually dishonest. They're lying. You think so? I think so. And I think they know they're lying. I mean, I think they know, A, who are they? They are the left. They are the activist, anti-racist uh, pedagogues 
uh, in the schools, in the universities, in the journalism profession, who are trying to shape the way that people think about race in this country, including children in public schools. They know what they want. They want to teach that America was born in uh, uh, slavery and uh, genocide. Uh, they, they want to question the people who want to hold up the flag on the 4th of July and say they love their country and say the United States is a great uh, beacon of liberty uh, in the last uh, three centuries of, uh, of human political experience. They don't like that narrative. They hate that narrative. They hate the narrative that America is a good country. They don't like capitalism. They're deeply skeptical about the foundations of American civilization. They know what they're doing and they know what they want. And when called on it, they lie. Oh, it's a bugaboo. Oh, for example, like. Nine or 10,000 homicides with black victims a year can go completely undiscussed by some of these people. While uh, any incident involving a white police officer and a black criminal in which the criminal end up, ends up losing his life because of his behavior, can become a cause celeb. Say their names, say their names. They know exactly what they're doing. So, you know, they don't play fair. You know, they, they're, they're looking for a hook um, or a, a clever turn of phrase. They say, oh, defund the police. And then they say, oh, no, but nobody really wants to defund the police. We're not against police. Yes, you are. You know, um, so I think they know exactly. They say diversity and inclusion. They, they, they don't say lower the standards because people can't compete when you uh, draw the line the way that you're drawing it. So we're going to define the line differently. They're, they're going to say Asians are not non-white. They're going to talk about people of color and omit Asians whenever it's convenient to do so. So. Why would I, I trust them with something really important, like reporting on the political news, like reporting on what goes on in elections, like like uh, reporting on business news, like reporting on what's going on in the economy? Why would I trust these people? Sorry for the rant, but they know exactly what they're doing. That's my point. This is not a mistake. They're liars. I invite people to watch a debate I did last week to assess this. Um, it was with Gloria Ladson Billings, and it was about whether critical race theory should be taught in K through 12. Where will they find this, John? This is a monk debate. This is one of these M-U-N-K debates. So just oh, look yeah. them up. And we did this last week, and I was a little suspicious, I must admit, because I thought it's such a slippery topic in terms of what people think CRT is. But Gloria Ladson Billings is not an ideologue. However, she is very much ensconced on this other side that we're talking about. And I'm not sure where the debate went because, and I'll just say that she said that she is not into teaching people what to think as opposed to how to think. And if she didn't mean it, she's a damn good actor. She sounded sincere to me. And yet in the next breath, she was talking about how critical race theory it, you know, holds America's feet to the fire, teaches that we don't have as pretty a story as we're supposed to have. And to her, the idea that people across the country are being taught what rather than how to think was utterly alien. And yet she's a specialist in education, at least to an extent, she couldn't have missed the reports. She couldn't have missed what's talked about at the conferences that she goes to. And I think it's clear if you watch the debate that, yes, she does want American kids to be taught to be leftist radicals. Radical sounds like a slur, but I just mean in terms of what politics is. That's what she wants. But Dan, if you could get her to understand that when you talk about that trend, you're referring to her. I genuinely don't think she could see that that's where she is because she's been minted in several decades in which that way of thinking is seen as so normal that I'm not sure she can see. And I'm not putting her down. I'm in my own context where I can't see outside. She can't see that what she's thinking of as teaching people how to think is teaching them what. I'm loath to say that she's just lying. And that's partly because I don't like calling anybody a liar, but partly because I'm interested in the psychology of these things. I think 
I have to, it's the only analogy I have to use it. I think she's a fish who doesn't know she's wet. I think that that's what is going on. And as such, I see her as an innocent. I can't be angry at her. She is of an age, not going to say what the age is, but all she's known is an educational establishment that wants to teach kids to be radicals. That's all she's ever known. I can't look at her and call her a liar. Now, with some of these people who are 29 or 35, maybe the story is different. But once again, they've only been minted in one thing. Because remember, they don't watch us and they don't read outside of, of what they find congenial. So I don't know, Glenn, if they're liars. All right, but maybe. I think that they, 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 they are of limited vision. That's the, 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 as far as I could go. Okay. Well, maybe I overstate. I don't know. Uh, in, in, my, uh, in my emotional excitement, maybe I overstate. Maybe I should be more generous and more forgiving. And, liar. You know. Glenn, have you ever known anybody like that who was a liar? And this is a sincere question. Where they revealed after a while that they'd, be, they'd been dissimulating in view of a larger goal. I, I really want to know if there are people like that. I'm always on the lookout. I'd like to catch one. Okay. No, no one comes to mind offhand, uh, but I'll think about it. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder. No.